In surfing, it's all about having one limited resource, which are the waves on the ocean. Every surfer has been dreaming about having his perfect uh, wave, I mean, being able to, to create a wave, or at least to try to enjoy a wave just for himself, no? I was running a company with my wife, an engineering company doing sport facilities. But as a surfer, we were thinking that the best uh, sport facility is just a, a beach with waves. And that was the beginning. We didn't know how difficult it was. As a surfer, engineer who loves physics, trying to understand how a wave works and why the wave doesn't need energy to move around the ocean, but you need energy to create a wave was something interesting to think about. Everybody knows that just a change of 10 centimeters in the deepness of the water, in the bathymetry, affects to, a, a, to the shape of the, of the wave. Here you are building a facility that is really big, and a small change will make a big change in the wave, but also it's going to be very costly. We have 21 projects with financial commitment. This is happening, and if it's economically viable, it will happen. If you ask me, it's going to be good because we're going to have more waves, but also maybe there will be more people surfing in the beaches because we, we're going to have more people coming from inland. But who can say to the people who live inland that they shouldn't surf in artificial waves? We used to do escape paths long time ago and every time we were going to a, in a, a small a suburb in a big city and we were creating a new escape park, we were seeing that we were creating happiness. And, and now if we can do the same thing in the middle of a city, far away from the sea. I know that this, this is gonna, may not be good news for the people who live in the shore, uh, on the coast. But I mean, I guess uh, that we don't have the right to say to the, the people that they cannot enjoy our sport. This is what I think.